No siree for the Tinker. Of course, there's this issue of vision uh, that can be of the Wiz Spirit. So we'll see if uh, Tinker can actually afford his Blink Dagger quick enough before they gank him uh, over and over. Uh, we'll have to see what the players do pick up and then uh, judge the lanes from there. Alright, let's see the Null Talisman. So it will be a Tinker mid. I think Rumor's mid is just battle. too challenging a task uh, to put onto Shallow. Uh, or teaching. All right, on TG we have Dream Gaming with Chinese words. I don't know how to read that, so uh, I only can read Tai Hao, which is the first two words. But anyway, Phoenix gonna be played by this guy. Uh, we have Sky with Mage, played by another Chinese guy. Ayo, okay, no, he's played by Ayo. Uh, we got a shitty wizard, and we got Xiaolo playing that Tinker. We have Demons on the Vengeful Spirit, and G Shane on that Brewmaster. It will be a spot Brewmaster. Oh, meanwhile, Gyrocopter pummeling away at the Venge. So ZSMJ is going to run that Gyrocopter. Kaka, Agent Kaka, our favorite guy out here. He's going to be playing the Wisp, and might have an engagement here. XDT on that Nyx Assassin. Pretty hot on that Lumina and Air. Oh, we get a kill here. First Blood goes to ZSMJ. Plunk down the bench goes and nice pick up of that poison attack at level one, uh, being able to slow the bench just in time at that average 295 move speed with that boots still not enough with air being able to spit poison. They want to go for shallow here. They're not gonna find it. I think uh, the gyrocopter with boots first. It does look towards. Uh, look like it might be a dual lane middle. We shall see. Kaka is still tagging along with ZSMJ. Yeah, no, we're going for air. They're gonna punish him for this bounty rune uh, pickup. They're not gonna let him have it. And yeah, they will spit begins. away at him. But Phoenix is there to collect the bounty. So it will be a hundred bucks over to the off lane Phoenix. And Nick's Assassin, uh, he's gonna find that bounty rune. I think he is forced to pick it up. Yeah, he will be forced to pick it up. And now we have some rather odd lanes. We having, we're having a Nyx. Wisp Lina lane, and that's where the uh, I guess the setup stun will come in. Not sure if that is going to be the case, but uh, it looks like ZSMJ will be soloing this one up. He will be playing against Phoenix. I'm not sure if he will be. Um, he will be comfortable against that, but air against Tinker. I, I believe Tinker should have the upper hand. Laser's just broken. And March spam later on will be very punishing, but Air, he's out of region. That's why the Tinker is trading very hard with him. Uh, but Shallow might want to be careful of uh, trading too much as he is. Oh no, Brewmaster gets a kill on that uh, on that bottom lane with the help of the Venge and Skyrof. And now they're going to start punishing away at the Nyx Assassin. They should not be able to kill him off. And now walking that middle lane again with two blasts to the one CS. Oh, Phoenix going to get caught in. Does he have dive? Yes, he does. And the Gyrocopter looking to follow up, but nope, getting slow there by the dive will not be able to get that kill so xtt is going to remain here with kaka actually kaka still wants to come by he does have the bottle so the spam of the stunts and the spike characters can come out and yeah he's going to go for that and see if he dodges that with the spike tinker kills off the viper mid whoa now that's not what is supposed to happen to viper viper being greedy saving up for the kills and i'm missing kills all around all right xtt getting the uh getting picked off there by the brewmaster and I'm missing kills. Damn. Looking bad already in this game number one. All the players making me look bad. They're getting deaths all around the place just as I chase for one. Now Viper chasing Tinker. I should have missed this one, right? Spits I misses up the high ground. Or rather missing to the laser. Uh, but now DG. We got to keep on uh, keep a lookout on this bottom lane. Looks like they don't want to relent on this pressure. We have Kaka running for that two-minute rune. Will he be able to find it is the question. He is level one and Venge will most likely stun him. No, doesn't have the money. The demons picks up all the rune and he now will go for that rocket. Uh, or the magic missile, rather. Kaka is gonna go for the tether now. The beating slowed up. There is gonna be the stun. Is that gonna be a ton of clap? Nope, not gonna be in time. Pops the spike carapace, and now the spikes come out. And Kaka getting caught out. There's a crit as well to follow, but there should not be a kill here uh, as the whiz starts bottling up. XTT missing last hits. We're gonna check this lane out. In North Viper. In force back. Observer planted on the higher ground. Spit. Spit exchange here with Ayo. He's gonna taste some corrosive skin and realizes that it might not be a good idea to trade hits. Yeah, he's losing so much health. The Sky Revenge has to back off, but pings on the Phoenix will realize that. Okay, maybe we should leave the Viper alone now. But uh, Viper dying to the Tinker middle lane was just a careless mistake. The, you should be able to tell at level two that the Tinker should have about 200, uh, 200 ish burst, so he should not be caught, uh, caught like that with his pants down. So Tinker getting a kill, solo kill on Viper, uh, mistake on Viper's part. Air, well, gr being greedy on that regeneration did not help as well. Pretty hot. Now gonna pull that cap through. 
should be able to get this pull done right. Misses the last hit though, but Pretty Hole will drag the creep wave over. The Phoenix uh, just gonna sit there for a bit. Cialo already bottled up. He hasn't got 40 points in the march yet. Uh, one skill point laser missile to just punish this uh, Viper. But of course, he is saving a skill point, so probably waiting till level 6 to actually grab all three points in march. Or maybe uh, if he gets an opportunity, get a second point in rockets and get another solo kill. Uh, but for now, he's just gonna hold on to that. Looking at last hits, we got 21 on that uh, gyrocopter. And 15 on the Viper. So Viper doing actually really well against the Tinker so far. Uh, Marsh spam is not exactly the best choice. And I like this Nyx Assassin because Nyx Assassin can really bait out uh, bait out those skills that are coming out from this tri lane uh, by popping that Spike Carapace. Uh, yeah, he's gonna just run at the Vengeful Spirit. They ping him out. They want him. The, the Brewmaster out of mana. He does have three stick charges. They're gonna look for a stun here. Level four on that Nyx Assassin. They're looking for a Jukes of Sun. Jukes of Sun once more. That's a tether. Is we gonna start it? Yes, we go. Impale up on him. Demon getting a re-tether, getting a second slow as well. Kaka with the good plays that will get that kill on that uh, on that mental spray. Now the pullback, Jixing gonna face up against the Nyx Assassin. Gyrocopter meanwhile blows up the Phoenix on the off lane. Another uh, very surprising kill, especially since he does not have homing missile. So once again, more greedy plays coming out from these Chinese players, not respecting the burst potential uh, of their enemies. And let's check out that team fight recap. We got about a 300 gold swing, and that double damage gonna definitely help out this Tinker in his fight. There's another laser blast. Really, really powerful laser has been. And you see him taking three ranks in heat seeking missile just to try for that solo Radiant's kill. Top tower is under attack. And the Viper now dying twice in a row now. Like I said, holding on to those skill points see if he can actually get a punishing turn kill uh, on him. But yeah, these kills are happening all around the map. And sometimes I wish I had that uh, dedicated observer. Oh, pop the spike, jukes it off. And now the cast will come in by Kaka, getting caught out. This is going to be a kill on that Wisp. Good crit as well. Easy one. The mana burn coming out onto the Brewmaster. Not going to be sufficient. And the next assassin was forced back. Ventral spread will secure that kill. So 1-2-2 one, two, and two will be a score there. Demon's very unfortunate with that first blood already. Uh, will now get some recompense uh, for his actions. Now, house get together. Oh, uh, Hyper Glory team. They are lead. Uh, well, they're behind one kill, but they are leading in terms of gold by a thousand. Oh yeah, let me just. Middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Double damage! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant's top tower is under attack. Sorry, friend. Just fight for help. I'm in trouble. Dominus. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Illusion! Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack.
Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Structures are fortified. My open mic is on. I think you might want to need to restart your Dota. It is Radiant's a perfect world issue. It's a well known is issue attack. as well. I'm sorry uh, that is not uh, giving you guys issues. Uh, hopefully, Val fixes it eventually. It might not even be Val's problem. Radiant's I think it's a perfect world side. That's another issue. Now the Phoenix comes in, they might Radiant's actually go in for that kill. Um, the Phoenix. Oh no, we're gonna have a fight now, flick it! And as XTT, he dodges the thunder clap, but oh no, double sentries wasted completely. Light strike will land on pretty uh, will land on the double pandas. The brulings are getting caught out, but Simon from air. He is part of the tank here. He does have the rocket slide towards him. He has the Phoenix going in the sun, cuts off the escape. Air drops the viper strike on demons. Skyrocopter comes in, pounds them all down. They do break down the sun. The poison nearly enough to pick him up. Zadis MJ wants to kill. Your fight seeker is in. Skyrofish feeds and then the trouble kill for Zadis MJ. Gishing coming in for an ultra. Misses the stun. Report this man for Zadis MJ. I got this, bro. Hold out my beer. And Gishing firing it over this on Zadis MJ. We'll get an ultra kill. That's five damage. Down. HGT, take it all back. Goldruff going to go further down the slope. Look at the team fight recap. 1,800 gold swing. 4,100. 4,100 on that XP change. Zadis MJ carrying his team on his back. And well, he, at least he does have a gyrocopter for that. He's able to take the burden of his teammates off his shoulders. Zero, five, and six. This Viper has not been having a good game at all. Completely missed that ultra kill there, and this is why Gyrocopter has been picked up a lot because he can just really help out his team uh, by being in the fights there because he has that ability to spam a lot of AoE magic as well as physical damage for a very small amount of cash. You look at that drum, space boots, and a ring of kill. That's all he really needs. He has uh, about a 136 damage being sprinkled all around the team fight, and it really, really does start to add up when you're a support with very little Dyer's to offer uh, after getting attack. all your stuff stuns off and oh, the gyrocopter is very good for messy fights like that tinker feeding life away was not part of the plan uh the skyrim tried to bail him out but in the end just spent two lives instead and here comes the relocate tinker surprise here's your next assassin oh no it's alina alina dreaming Live by Ayo, you know, he'll get caught out by the Laguna Blade. So once again, he becomes the Tinker's sacrificial lamb. But no, sir, Zeta's MJ, the war veteran on that gyrocopter, just gonna take another two kills. Monster kill now on that guy. Pops the black cannon, clears out the wave, and this tier one tower is Japanese. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Tinker uh, fleeing to the countryside here to try and get some farm. But really, he does need a lot more. Does he go for the new Aghanim's upgrade, blinding entire enemy fallen. team? Does he go for the Bloodstone? Or does he go for Dagon, uh, fearing nothing of that Radiant's Gyrocopter? We shall see. I don't even attack. think he has the time to farm Dagon the way things are going. Because Gyrocopter is getting that BKB. Looking for that timing push. Zeta's MJ doesn't want this to drag out. Dyer's He's just going to get that BKB and timing push the heck Radiant's out of uh, DG here. Attack. Especially with that magic immunity, that Brewmaster has going to have very little effect on his uh, murdering process. <laughs> so... Dyer's Still sitting in top of net worth, 9,700. That guy out farming the entire enemy squad and getting all the kills for himself as well. Look at that, 8-0. Easy game, easy life. The only one on his team not to have fallen in battle. Now mechanism completed for air, so at least he gets a breath of fresh air. Hee <laughs> uh, hee. Now we're gonna fuck away at this tier 1 tower. That is as say. Step aside, boom, I got this. Enough barrage in it with his chain guns. Right, the eventual spirit, they will really want that kill here. Radiant structures but are I would fortified. caution them that the Black King Bar is now up and available. Ji Xing, going for the Radiant's deny the advanced failing uh, in his stealthy mission. Gyrocopter floating in. Does he go for the Aegis? think so. Alright, so the XTT, Poor Man Shield Bottle Face Boots. Very odd build for Link's Assassin. I, I read the Face Boots on this. Arcanes or raw boots blink, but he has gone for the more right click savvy build. He's gonna sell his venom now for the blink. Blink dagger gonna be picked up. Yes, I hope to see an Aghanim's upgrade for the next. I, I rarely see that item. I have not actually seen it in a pro game as well. I've used Dyer's it myself. It's is under attack. tons of fun, and it's great for um, team fights that happen for prolonged periods of time in the same area. If that makes any sense. Uh, it is a very good, very good method to. 
Oh, Shaolo gonna get caught out. Smack, stun, mana button, smack. One more spike, Karen Burst will get him. Yep, stun, easy pickings there. The face boost doing work. That's the extra burst that's required. Holo, Holoming Missile. And it's to make its mark here on the Brewmaster, who will actually blink away. So as a result, Roshan is gonna be right for the take. And is there any uh, medallion here? No, no medallion. So that's gonna be the old-fashioned way with poison from Viper to slow Roshi down. The poor Roshi gonna once again be the subject of cyberbullying. XTT. But that's how the box on the to uh, say something about this, Roshan. Uh, does he able, does he actually get there in time? Is the question. Oh, no, DG Demons, they're actually wasting a lot of time walking in here. DJ Demon wants it. Lina gonna get caught out. Spike her. Oh, no, the stun nearly missing there. Oh, nearly hitting over there. And now they're gonna go in. Tinker comes in as well. It could be bad. It could be very bad. But BKBs have been deployed. There we go. Roshan very low. Shell low in a really bad spot here. Getting destroyed by Roshan. Roshan says, Get out of my lawn. And there's the Brew Master as well. He wastes his entire ruling sprint. But now, guys, that is an objective base game. He takes up Roshan to get his second life. But hello, Spikes. Going in there, Spike as well. The Skyrim, he's gonna be saved for later. Very low on his health. Holy shit on ZSMJ, and he's gonna deploy missiles. Are we going to fire him down? Yep, that XCT has that next assassin. Vendetta, ultimate ready. I'm not sure if you can see him there. I think he can. No, he does not. Oh, blindness, a Nyx bat. And yeah, he's gonna blink the wrong way. So we'll not find that Skyrim kill. That guy's just a really fuss bugger with the Tranquils. Still a 4 for nothing. And a 4 for Lina trade. It was not the best of uh, best of exchanges. ZMJ is gonna really agree with that wholeheartedly. Yes, that double damage ready, and he's gonna start plucking away at his tier two tower as well. BKB, 20 seconds off cooldown, but he does have that second life, and he's gonna feel pretty comfortable with his position right now, sitting at 12,000 now. Well, just getting more and more absurd here. The Phoenix um, Phoenix Supernova has been rather unsuccessful because he's been going in without dropping spirits first. And that's clear no no when you go in because you just take, it just takes like two heroes to kill you off during the sun duration and that's exactly what has happened these past few fights i don't think a single sun has gone off during the uh during the team fights he's always gotten shot down by the wisp and the nyx so easy kill so far uh but we'll look at it look at a viper now he's got mechanisms goes wraith He's going for trends, so he's trying to get his recovery on. He's still 0 6, Radiant and the legend still says that till this day he does not have a single kill. That is MJ. Feel pretty good about this. Gets himself some health I'm sure he won't complain. A uh, small guy like him certainly can indulge in a little bit of beverage. Yeah, not even bothering with the tower hits here. Just too intoxicated to care. Uh, this Tinker has not been working out for him. 900 health. Teeping into that rush pit, I think, was a huge boo boo. Should have been, uh, should have been there Radiant's some other way instead. Uh, they tried to be cute with the Brew Master Spirit, but in the end, it wasn't really what they wanted. And Shallo, oh no, 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 the chicken exposes him. They're not gonna go in too close to the enemy lines. I think that was a smart play there. The greedy player hit me, would have said yes, but Nick Assassin was running out of Vendetta anyway, and he didn't want to risk it. It's Dagon time. No acronyms. I'm sad. But it's Dagon. Dagon works just as well for destroying squishy stuff. And Yules is that Yules. No, misses a stun. Fire this man. Jishing, burning mana. Uh, but he will live Radiant's to find another day. So XTT. Boo boo number two. That is MJ. Feeling brave about himself. Picks up the Monkey King bar. I was talking about Sanji Yajas and everything. Else, but hey, when you're this far ahead, you get what you want, man. You just get what the heck you want. And uh, for you guys just tuning in, it's the best of two. You're watching I League Season Radiant's 3. It's HGC versus DG. In the best of two, it's the group stages. And they were coming to a close. This is the last day. We have two best of twos. These being the first game of the first set. Radiant's and after that, we will be proceeding fallen. into the land finals as the groups will be announced by the admins. And hopefully, we'll share them with you. So remember to take the time. Go follow Beyond the Summit on Twitter and like our Facebook page uh, to know more. 14,000 net worth on ZSMJ. This is getting pretty strong. Stupid. I think he will be able to clean up the entire team of flat cannons. One of those rare times where we will observe a flat cannon demolishing uh, teams uh, so early in this game. 24 minutes in, and you already see that gold graph dropping into the abysm. And what's up with XTT? He's got himself a dagger. Alright, there's your dagger. Six hundred gold. See if he decides to upgrade it, or is it just gonna be a one-off thing? Uh, that is MJ gonna run out of Aegis time. Not sure why he doesn't want to push in. Tinker, yeah, we'll give him some trouble, but 
not that much. And I think there is really a good avenue to push now. They have all their momentum and threads on the bike. But finally affords the good shoes. Uh, it's a pair of branded boots. Time to go. Do we pass something over? Yeah, it's an older club. Can feel a little bit stronger about himself. The Tinker gives himself a blink. That's uh, that's extra stuff for him. But the problem is he's facing against a Viper. So Viper just needs to walk into the uh, with his corrosive skin, and Blink will be constantly cancelled. Oh look at he! Look who's here! Ah uh, no, he blinks away! Damn! Oh no, he's still in there. He sees him, stuns him up. Mana burn as well. Face boost, Dagon. Easy. Get out of here. I got this. XCT. Face boost, my friend. Face boost. Easy. Gets himself a kill. Aegis, gonna be running out soon. Ventral Spirit, what's he got? He got himself a mango, okay. I guess Mana Burn is a bit too painful uh, for him to deal with. Mechanism on the way here for the Phoenix. Dyer's top tower is under that blink dagger, but really, his, uh, his Brewmaster Spirits have been destroyed by the Gyrocopter uh, flat cannons recently, and he hasn't been able to accomplish a lot in these team fights. We have DG grouping up around their Brewmaster. Will they be able to find it though? Aegis does go down. We have a gem now purchased up by the Wisp. Gonna start dewarding stuff. What the heck? He had a soul booster. Wow. Radiant Rich guy. Middle tower Agent is under Kaka, attack. boys and girls. Agent Kaka. Fights uh, have yet to erupt. Still gonna have to wait for the uh, position to open fire, I guess. I'm gonna find the enemy ancient step. Oh no! But who's uh, who's gonna take this? I wonder. And the problem with DG's lineup is they don't they don't even have the late game to fight back with. That's the biggest issue, I think. Phoenix is now gonna come out, but are we gonna have a kill? The Wisp relocate is available. He could actually zip on in and try and get a kill there. Here comes the Tinker. But firing missiles. That air will be the be the target. Is He's gonna walk into that, get some cursed skin going down. Oh no, Brewmaster goes in, he was bait! Lina coming in as well. There's the Skyrim Ultimate and Viper doomed to feed until the end of the game. Tinker gets blown up right off the bat. Look at that MKB just doing so much damage. Brewmaster Earth Spirit. Oh no, no. You're not OP, not this Earth Spirit. Now he goes. 1,400. That is MJ just blunts him down. Running and gunning, True Mafia. That is MJ. 13 0, 4k gold. Looking really, really good. Uh, in this best of four, best of two game one team fight recap has really little to show us except the brewmaster die, um, without showing us the right stats here. Uh, but yep, somehow Venge as well as the Phoenix manages to book out of that. And Viper, I guess he was sacrificial lamb. Uh, he was a sacrificial lamb, but he got his team three kills. Yeah, three kills. So it's gonna be pretty good about that. Uh, unfortunately, for his score not so much. Uh, pretty hold Alina going for that Yule Scepter. Still rather low in terms of funds. Just kidding, got it already. And that's it. I hear that noise, that rumble or that buzz of a uh, vendetta. And he goes in and finds himself a juicy robotic man. Or will he get a robotic man? Alright, Bubble Cup, you're coming with me. XDT finds him. Fire and stuff, uh huh. XTT, he knows, he knows. Oh, oh no, 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 bro. Spike, spike it up, spike. Oh, f up. f up. Alright. Oh, Yellow yeah, getting destroyed there. Relocates to remove the. I think that was a short, short, a uh, short range relocate. Where was that relocate? There, there. It was a short range relocate. They just fired the. Uh, oh no, they're going in there. They're actually gonna turn and fight. This guy will come. They're gonna destroy them all. He goes for the Brewmaster split. They will go for Kaka. They will find him. That will be a kill. Gyrocopter not in range to get this kill. So in the end, uh, they do not do it because the flat cannon was used to kill Tinker. Oddly enough, that is MJ. He might actually die here. Mystic Flare. They could kill him off. So close. And they will get the Sun Ray. Killing him off is IO. That's a beyond godlike streak as well. A lot of praise that you can buy. Way more than that, brother. There we go. Going for the stun. Please don't miss this one. Get stunned by the Magic Missile. We have the Sun. Get deployed here. Is it going to be going down? No, it will not. Stuns all around. AGT. Now gonna be on the back foot. They are caught off guard. Laguna Blade gonna be landing, but Light Strike misses there. But never mind, XCT here to clean up with his yellow dagger. 
XTZ running forward, looking for Chi-Ching. They do kick off the lean on here, and no stuns are available. So this Brewmaster will get out, the Tinker as well. Most importantly, Gyrocopter dying before he got a Scotty there. Could have survived, I think, with the extra tankiness, but without his without his Wisp, he will not be able to uh, take a fight as well. And not holding a Teleport Scroll, uh, I think that really cost him as well. More, oh no, it's going to be a Eel Scepter. So XTT having some mana problems, realizing that maybe a spin would be pretty good for uh, for his gank efforts on Shallow. But, yeah. Skyrof uh, is going to be affording a lot of braces from here. That that big pot of gold he just earned. Uh, was it still there? No, it was not. But uh, he's going to earn a lot of gold. He did die a little bit, but look at that reliable gold, guys. 2,700 reliable gold. 2,700. 3k now. Rich as a bat. I don't know why bats are rich. Batman is rich. I just, just came to my mind. Four star right Of all the things you could have bought for $3,000 to buy a four star. Okay. Mr. No Fun, how about a Dagon? You know, he could have blown someone up, but no, buys a four stuff. Uh, Nick's here, my buddy, he knows how to have fun. Going in. Checking out the Grey's Panda. No, no, not going for the drunkard, goes for the lady instead. No, run, lady, run! Run! Stun. Oh, he even gets the Brewmaster. Easy. Oh, he gets the Yules as well. Very well done. Now the spike is gonna come out. Spike any? Nope, no need for the spikes. It, it will hold on to him. No, takes it like a man. Alright, doesn't hold on to that one. Uh, nope. the Meanwhile, in the back line, will actually kill off the. Uh, will kill off the Roshan. So Aegis number two has now been secured. What's up with these Tara? Here, TP all the way back. He's out of mana. Alright, ZSMJ uh, has got his Eye of Scotty as well as his Aegis now. Next team fight will be a massacre. Alright, Ventral Spirit now gonna be back into the fray. He's gonna go for a 4 stop as well. Ayo he has his. Still holding on to one of those braces, not letting go of that. Might see a base siege now, but of course the most important thing, you want to go push a base with uh, uh, minimal creeps at your uh, side of the map. Tower because in the event attack. you do lose that fight, you don't lose too much ground. So just want to cave in on the enemy uh, and show that the, wave, uh, the waves are pushing your way. So the cameras have been set, Tinker will have to be very careful when he TPs in. And Nyx Assassin is going to be on the hunt. Yeah, finds a regeneration as well. So Nyx. It's got to be on Tinker Hunt duty. There is an observer here as well. Viper, get out of the farm zone. He's gonna join us in the fight. He's about to get that BKB soon. That is MJ, 19, 20,000 net worth. Uh, sitting pretty strong, I must say. That's all I can say, man. Tinker, Nike, go. Doesn't have any dagger, nothing. Uh, for the moment, he's got 2,800. He's saving up for stuff. Is he gonna go uh, something like a Dagon? Or maybe build towards the Aghanims for base defense? Uh, we shall see. Nyx Assassin, I still want to see that Aghanims at least once, uh, if possible. But otherwise... Oh no, Shallow! Spikes! <laughs> you screwed up again. <laughs> Could have started with the Eel Scepter. Would have been a free kill. Uh, but no. But nah. Okay, sparing the thinker for another time. Let him in like don't touch him. Let all five of mine. I wanna do that again. We missed out on the rampage the first time round. We'll do it right this time. Going in. Air, you be the bait. Get in there. Get in there, cucumber. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, he wants his PK. He's like, please at least let me have magic immunity. Let me die. He didn't get two kills in the previous fight. So at least it's no longer the future. Uh my helicopter is gonna come in here and clean up the wave once again. Warding going on. Alright, the fight's got low. Yo, no. Okay, fast rock is over. Might get an extended. No, we all actually fight him now. Stunning up the Phoenix. Phoenix gets swapped out. Demon, such a hero. He will face that as MJ's wrath. But homing missile coming in. Going on that flyer in there. Bogey out. Brumata goes to his ultimate bomb. Alright, here comes the Splatterin. 
Is that a temp going down once? That's gonna be a broom on the spread. Taking him out. XTT goes for the stun. Gets the jerk, gets the Phoenix though. This wind spread gonna be flying away. That is MJ. Uh, Revive him for the second time. Now it's gonna stay clear of the enemy fire, but then down. No more blue monster spirits. Trying to stop this push. Tinker, very low mana. Now for TD back to the mountains. And that is MJ. 3 2 pluck away the tier 3 tower. Broom also getting a BKB. May be able to dish up enough hurt uh, to deal with this kind of thing. Trouble here, he's not capping the flank cannon, so deployed, and now they're on cooldown. 24 Radiant seconds before they are used again. Xiaolo just spamming up rockets. Here, that's why it's better for this. is Kaka with his bloodstone. He is healing fast, and he can't go for the suicide of the Here's the Brewmaster split going in. Brewmaster BKB air, now gonna go get caught out again. Sun gonna be deployed in the middle of the enemy team. Gonna feel away with KQ. Okay, thank you. Unsure of what to do, DJ out of BKB, out of options, gem on the deck, and Ayo flying in, trying to do as much damage as possible, but really, what else can he do against this foul powerhouse that is Zeta Zeta Jake? He's got his monkey cake bars, because I've got him very, very tanky, oh no, stun set up, Demon's getting caught, Tinker, gonna get blown out, but now, Eel Scepter, gonna spin it up in the air, get silenced up, Mystic Flag gonna miss, Air gonna tank some of that, heal some of that, Corrosive Skin, Skyrock, and the rocket's gonna continue flying in, they have taken the side of Rekt, will they continue, or will they pause uh, for a breather? ZFMJ, full health, 5,000 gold, get that happy rape here, no, not gonna get it, Shallow getting caught out, no stun though, XCT, and not gonna go for that, and the Vendetta, now he's going for Kaka, dropping low, that's a classic shot, finds ZFMJ, Shadow Love, he will, and we're gonna go back to pushing the lane. Looks like push is not over. The Wisp does not want to leave. He does still have another urn charge. He's the only one really low on health anyway. So not gonna push the issue. And uh, we have the guy also picking up something else. Nope, just gonna be farming here. Yeah, let's use the flat cannons to deal with this ancient stack. And perhaps we'll see something else. What's fine? Oh, worry. Right. So the Helm of the Dominator is the Satanic. So he's gonna buy the full thing. He's gonna have it very soon, and he's gonna play it safe for now. Go to the side of the Ancients, do, uh, do them up, and then afterwards proceed with the Satanic and be pretty much unkillable. They do have Sunray for some uh, HP bursting, but it's not really gonna be that effective if you're always getting blown up by Nyx. And now with the Satanic, it's uh, it's gonna be very hard. I'll be surprised if they even kill him once. But, you know, for now we're going to reserve some judgment. What's Tinker decided to go for? He's going for Bloodstone. Um, and I don't know if it's the right build in this situation. He really needs items to deal with um, deal with the aggressors. So maybe things like the Aghanims for the refracted laser, the missiles, the four rockets. It could help. Uh, Bloodstone is only going to make him revive faster to die again. That's my... That's my thought on this, because he can't actually jump in, so his extra life is not really that worthwhile. Yeah, he clears some waves, but that's pretty much it. He really needs a lot of time, and now he feeds it away. Before he can get it, he's dead. Down goes. XCT uh, finds him with the ward here, and without the Tinker for 50 seconds, GG. Yeah, there we go. He's like, we're not going to fight without our robot, man. And GG says, I don't want to die again. So that is MJ. We're not going to try to use the Satanic. Oh, will he? Will he? Yeah, kill maybe. He will get Io. Not going to get it. Uh, fall, uh, sparing their lives for the four other DG members and they'll try and come back in game number two with a more sensible uh, draft but uh, for now uh, like I said not picking up a late game carry so to speak is always going to be a problem but then I don't I don't think that game can be attributed to that tinker pick it's more like